Each year, hurricane season brings challenges for those living in affected areas, but this year has been especially rough. As a community of artists, we know all too well that creativity can be a beacon of hope we have chosen to come together to raise money for people who have been impacted by these catastrophic events. We've created videos for you to enjoy and art for you to bid on. Fluid Art Co has stepped up to do something very special. They've offered to sponsor the collaboration with a limited release pigment that they've named Benevolence. Five dollars of every jar sold will go towards the fund. Proceeds will be going to the Direct Relief Organisation from all of us around the globe, we thank you for taking this on with us. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel today. I'm Tara with Piece of Tara Artistry. Thank you for joining me. So this is that beautiful pigment benevolence that Fluid Art Co. has come up with uh, as a fundraiser for Hurricane Relief. So $5 of each jar of this uh, limited edition pigment is going to go towards Direct Relief Organization, so that's directrelief.org, and um, they focus on providing medical uh, supplies uh, for areas that are affected by these things. So 40 artists from around the world have come together uh, along with Fluid Art Co. to um, not only uh, be able to um, share that beautiful pigment, but also we are going to be all participating in an auction. And um, this painting that I am doing right now will be available in that auction. It's going to be over on uh, Nate Bright, his YouTube channel. It will be on November 3rd, starting at one o'clock, I believe, Eastern time. And I will put the link on the, in the description box once I have a link to that uh, so that you can head right over there on uh, the third to bid on all these pieces. So I am doing a pearl pour uh, with some texture. Uh, that's just a burnt umber mixed with Van Dyke Brown. Um, it's just such a beautiful, neutral, earthy color. And what I was thinking on this one is I wanted there to be some minimal pearls because um, I wanted, I didn't want it to be too busy. So that was my aim on this one. So this paint here is mixed um, with my pouring medium and then some satin enamel, uh, just the, the bare uh, deep base satin enamel. And this is the TLP Benevolence, but I over diluted this one so I didn't put enough pigment in and then I put too much pouring medium in that so then I made up another cup with the rest of my pigments because I only had a small sample and you see that cup right there um, I made up a full cup of that and then <laughs> I, I knocked it over so I ended up having to use the diluted one because I knew I didn't have enough of the one that was less diluted. So it, it worked out fine. It still was beautiful and that you definitely see the benevolence in the final results. And I'll show you a close up because it's actually really cool. Um, they're like, a, the pearls are like a light blue and then inside of that is the benevolence and then inside of that is the brown. So um, it, and then you see the sparkle too with that benevolence. So uh, I will show you again at the end a close up of the pearls. But like I said, um, I was going for more of a minimal pearl situation on this one. So I kept my paints a little thicker than I normally do. And one, one of my paints, uh, all my paints were the same consistency. Uh, but the, the pour over paints, I left the modern masters one, which I put on the very top. I left that one even a little bit thicker to kind of control the amount of pearls I have. So if you do pearl pours, you kind of know the consistency is really important and the thicker your paints, the less likely you are to get pearls. So 
I have been kind of experimenting with different consistencies for the pearl pour lately and um, a little bit different pouring medium. Uh, so I, um, I'll be sharing that over on my Patreon uh, very soon. So you guys have to go check that out on my Patreon page. But um, yeah, the, the, there's some differences that I'm doing lately that I really like. And I really liked how this one turned out um, with a minimal amount of pearls so that I could add the texture and it wouldn't be too busy. So that was my, my goal on this one. So these paints here are the base coat. Uh, and I layer them like this so that I can get the peacock pearls. Uh, so the, the brown and the benevolence are both mixed with pouring medium and uh, satin enamel. Okay, so just the base coat has satin enamel in it. And uh, then the pour over colors that I'm gonna use uh, do not have satin enamel in them. So this is just a really light blue that I made. I used sky blue from Amsterdam and I mixed that with the TriArt titanium white fluid. Uh, it's just so much easier to create these custom colors using the fluids because you don't have to use that much to um, kind of create the color that you're looking for by just using a little bit at a time. So yeah, I really like using those. So that's the Modern Masters Champagne. And like I said, I left that one just a tad thicker than the other colors. So basically what I did, I poured it on and now I'm just gonna tilt all the way around. Um, so I usually do it in kind of a circular. So I start on one end and then I just tilt all the way around. And you can see that, look at those cells that are already forming uh, with that uh, Modern Masters. It's really what turned out so, it was so pretty when I was tilting. And I, when I got to that edge, I was like, oh, I don't know if I wanna get rid of this uh, lacing. So I started stretching back. So you can see on that bottom part that the pearls are already starting to pop up. So I try to tilt pretty quickly when that happens because otherwise you end up with wonky pearls and you can see there's a big goober in my paint right there that uh, I didn't realize was in there. Um, but yeah, this uh, really, the background on this one really turned out so pretty. Uh, and thankfully, because it was a little bit thicker, the pearls didn't wonk out too much as I was tilting. So that was good. And when I stretch, uh, I stretch till I see those pearls and then I turn in the other direction and I tilt uh, the paint back towards center because that way I get pearls all the way around the perimeter and that was really what I was going for on this one just to make sure that there was pearls all the way around so it ended up uh, working out perfectly and I really loved the it's just such a beautiful background there's so in in person looking at it the camera doesn't even do it justice because uh, in, in person, it just is so, it's just such a beautiful, earthy um, uh, background. <laughs> so uh, you can see, I just sped it up here. This is like an hour later. And you can see there, I went for the minimal pearls and got minimal pearls for sure. Uh, and it's kind of hard to see, but there you can kind of see that they're multicolored. Uh, that benevolence, uh, it's hard to pick up the shimmer on here, but uh, it really looked so pretty. And I really like how they're like kind of different colors. So these ones over here are just more of the brown, lighter colors. And then over here we have more benevolence. So yeah, it, it turned out really good. It dried perfectly. So here I have spent probably an hour and a half trying to figure out what design I wanted to do on this because I loved so many parts of this, uh, this piece. And so I didn't wanna cover them up. But uh, with this type of 
thing you definitely you, you with composition I've learned you sometimes have to sacrifice things that you like so I thought this composition was pretty cool pretty happy with it and you see there I'm showing you how I load my palette knife I load the the um, modeling paste and paint onto the palette knife scrape the edges and it ends up with like that kind of point on the end uh, so it um, gives it so much texture as I'm laying these scales down. So I am going to speed this up because this took me about an hour and a half. It would have been less, but you'll see I messed up and I dropped my bowl of modeling paste that I had mixed into uh, a already finished section and thankfully it wasn't like uh, farther up in the design because then I had to start all the way over so it ended up just being like uh, probably the last third of uh, that other side over there that I haven't gotten to yet but I I'm going back I use chalk to um, mark on my art because I can erase it <laughs> and it gives me these these nice guidelines uh, for me to stay in the lines while I'm doing the texture part of this so I love the golden um, extra heavy uh, modeling paste and here we go I think this is about where I messed up and dropped my bowl here we go oh that was very upsetting <laughs> because uh, pulling this whole collaboration together we didn't have a ton of time to um get the art done so i was working late at night on this one and yeah that's what happens so guys don't forget about the hurricane relief fund um definitely go to the auction uh, pick up some benevolence from fluid-art.co and then also in the comments I need you guys to tell me which direction you like this one um, for the hanging hardware I'm not sure I really kind of like them all so let me know and um, head to the next person and thank you for being here and I'll see you on the next one mm -hmm.